it's not that easy to come to the floor after such a great speech and presentation from Dr. Abraham. My job title is not about CEOs, not about founders, not about anything. I claim to be a thought igniter and a fixer. What a thought igniter is doing? I'm igniting your thoughts. And I will try to do that in the next five to ten minutes. I'm going to put some seeds in your fantastic brains, and I will see in the future if that was a good approach or not. On the other side, I'm a fixer. What a fixer is doing? The bad things, I'm solving the big crisis. Uh, the last 30 years of my life, I've been traveling all over the planet, handling very big, big crises. I think that the wars between countries, terrorist attacks, diplomatic crises, financial crises, crises about business leaders, crises between religious people, and things like that. And if you think that I'm going to talk to you about fear today, I have to admit something to you, that fear does not exist. Nobody has ever been born with a feeling of fear. No one. No one. So, uh, this is something that I have learned in my life, that there is no fear, and this is the reason why I don't fear anything. And nobody can dare to go against me on that. So, you tried to threaten me previously, uh, but I don't fall in the trap of threats. Okay, we have, said, we have heard some very, very interesting things from Dr. Abraham. And let's go back to reality, because I fully agree that the future is fabulous. But in order to have this great future, we have to do something. Because we have passed the last decades, especially the last decade, from severe crisis. Although we have been used to have one crisis after the other. It was one crisis that was finishing, another crisis was starting. But lately, this is not the case. We are in a world of parallel, systematic, continuous crisis. Unfortunately, but this is the reality. Okay? So, although we have been tired of from this COVID era, pandemia, financial crisis, uh, wars between countries, um, weather disasters, any kind of disasters, geopolitical problems, geopolitical threats, okay, technological advancements, digital assets, cryptocurrency, bitcoins, uh, digital assets, all these things are changing. And I have here some fantastic numbers. Okay? Today, the market of this new digital asset it is 1.2 trillion dollars and it will become in the next two to five years five trillion dollars and in the next 10 years going to be 20 trillion dollars and something that it was worth 200 something dollars 10 years ago today it was 70,000 plus dollars and we bought a pizza with 700 million dollars this is the crisis that we are living right now. Because if in a market we are moving trillions, where are this money getting out of? Do we add value of these trillions in the next two to three years? Do we produce value, products, services of this value? It is impossible. What we are doing, we are moving values. By moving values, we're creating crisis. And this is the root of the problem. That's why we have so many crises all over the planet. Because we are moving rapidly value. Of course, we add value at the same time. But we cannot add this amount of value in two, three years. It is impossible. Bring the best person from finance, economics in the world to come against me and explain to me. Because whenever I go to a crisis, at the end, behind the crisis, there's always one thing. Numbers. Numbers. It's either going to be numbers in terms of money, numbers in terms of votes, numbers in terms of followers, numbers, 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 numbers. Because this is the root of the problem. We are talking how we are going to increase the numbers, and I really enjoy my time being in this area because the growth element in this area is phenomenal, but at the same time we have discussed how we increase the capability 
of handling these increased numbers. So we need a new skill set. So in order to have this fantastic future that I strongly believe that will come, we need to prepare ourselves because more crises will come, more and more and more. But of course, we are going to survive and we are going to excel. Who are those going to be the, the, the ones that are going to excel? The ones that are going to in, in, incorporate in their practices business continuity planning. Otherwise, life continuity planning. So by putting in your business, government, countries, politicians, practitioners, law, uh, accountants, any kind, if you put BCP, business continuity planning, what are you doing? Is you are preparing yourself by the time that the storm will hit, you have the way to keep on. And what are you going to do? You are going to be better prepared the comparing to the rest. So the higher numbers are the ones that have been prepared through life continuity planning. And if you want to have even higher numbers, then you have to have a crisis management system in place. And not to ask for crisis management experts to help you. Because first of all, they are very expensive. But before you ask them and to pay them, you have increased the, say, this, the problem by yourself. Every time that I travel all over the world, and I meet, believe it or not, very, very powerful people. Okay? And they ask a help of a professional. Before they ask the help of the professional, because they are powerful, money, connections, networking, alliances, okay? they try to solve it by themselves. And they make the crisis bigger and bigger and bigger, and more expensive and more expensive and more expensive. Okay? But if they have in their mindset, if a disaster comes, that the disaster will come, okay? and I'm not the one that says that. If you go back to the latest report of Business Economic Forum of Davos of 2024, it is clearly stated that the next decade is going to be the era of systematic, parallel, continuous, numerous crises. So if you put your mind to prepare yourself, through business continuity planning and crisis management, okay, that I have, I have seen good things talking about today, the future is going to be better. So the message that I'm going to pass to you is we need a new skill set. The skill set called, we need to have stamina. This means that we can survive ourselves mentally, healthily, healthily and psychologically. Because if we are get tired through the crisis that will come, then we will not succeed. So we need to have a clear mindset that crisis will come and we will go through it. We need dedication to truth because the only way that we can win the crisis is by telling the truth. Politically correct, legally correct, communicating correct, but dedication to truth. We need to be very close to people, we have, have empathy, compassion. That's why I'm in front of female leadership. One of the big tycoons of this planet had a discussion with some people about, about the future of his organization, and I was privileged to be one of the people sitting at the table. And when we were discussing about the skill set of his future organization, and we said what are going to be the skill set of the future for the people, and we discussed about all these things, then we came all to one conclusion that female leaders are the leaders of the future. We like it or not, but this is the reality, and we have as men, male, to understand that if we are not be more, comp more emotional intelligent, more flexible, more agile, more close to the people, more family-oriented, more <laughs> building an ecosystem, like the ecosystem of Adam Global, okay, we will not survive in the future, and building on our our own reputation. Because when a crisis hits, there's only one opponent. The rest, you can solve, you can win, you can beat. You can go against anyone in the planet, but the opponent that you cannot beat is time. The clock is ticking, tick tock, tick tock, not the app, okay? Tick tock, tick tock. In order to gain time, you need good reputation. 
So with all these things, I would like to say that uh, it was a very, very, how can I say, very interesting the invitation that I received from Adam Global and Mr. Abbas to be here with you today. It was not expected to be somebody like me here and talk to this kind of practitioners that I believe that from this level of practitioners, from lawyers, accountants, people from the finance departments, people that come from technology, from digital assets, are the ones that they have to lead the way. And with this, my message is there is no fear. There is only preparation. Thank you for your time. Mm -hmm.